Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm gonna to show you how to see how much money you've spent on the Google Play Store. And we usually think of Google Play as Android's App Store, but it's much more than that. You can buy music, movies, books, and even devices like this Nexus 6P. Plus, there's always those pesky in-app purchases that are also handled by Google Play. So you can see how it's easy to spend a decent chunk of money on Google Play. And these purchases can pile up, considering that most of us have had smartphones for several years now. Well, thanks to a cool little app from developer Yen's Christian Getty, we can actually see exactly how much money we've spent on Google Play throughout the years. The app itself is called My Paid Apps. And some of you may have come across it before because it's been around for a little while, but it's an interesting app nonetheless. So to get started, search My Paid Apps on the Play Store and get it installed, or you can use the link in step one in my full tutorial. But when you first launch the app, it won't be able to show you any of your purchases until you give it the proper permissions. So tap the refresh button at the top of the screen, then on this next menu, go ahead and tap the allow button. At this point, it'll download a list of all your Google Play purchases and format them in a way that makes it easy to sort through. Once it's done that, the first thing that's probably gonna stand out to you is this total cost field. I'm using my alternate account here, so it's not really that high. But man, on my personal account, I've spent well over $2,000 total, and that was a shocker. But if you tap this drop down menu at the top of the screen, you can even sort your purchases by category. There's one for just apps, but then there's two more for apps you currently have installed and apps you bought at some point but no longer use, which is kind of depressing to look at. Then of course there's categories for music, movies, and devices, but the one that might be the most interesting is in-app purchases, especially if you play a lot of games. Then inside of each of these categories, you can tap the sort button at the top of the screen to sift through this list by name, date, or price, so it really lets you pin down exactly where all of your money went. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.